Hello students, welcome to the second practical of human anatomy and physiology and today we will be uh, studying about the epithelial tissue, basically the microscopic structures of epithelial tissue. So let's start. So talking about tissues, tissues are basically formed by the combination of cells and uh, specifically epithelial tissue covers the body and lines the cavities and hollow organs which are present in the body. It is also found in various glands, right? Coming to the functions, the functions are closely related to the structure of epithelial tissue and there are three basic functions of epithelial tissue. The first being the protection of underlying structures, the second being secretion and the third being absorption. Now coming to the classification of epithelial tissue, epithelial tissue can be broadly classified as simple, stratified and pseudostratified. A simple epithelial tissue basically consists of a single layer of cells, stratified consists of several layers or multiple layers of cells and pseudostratified is a specialized form of simple epithelial tissue. Basically a modified simple epithelial tissue is termed as pseudostratified. Now as you can see in this particular diagram or this particular image there are three broad classification the first being squamous, the second being cuboidal and the third being columnar. All these three are classified according to their structure. Squamous are basically flattened cells, they are form of flattened cells. Cuboidal are made up of cube shaped cells and columnar epithelium is made up of columnar shaped cells. Now next is your pseudostratified columnar epithelial tissue so the very important characteristics of this particular epithelial type is that this cell does touch the basal membrane but not all of them reach the free surface as you can see in this particular image the cells that reach the free surface they belong to the columnar type and the cells that do not reach the free surface they rest on the basal lamina and they have a round nucleus and the term pseudostratified is derived from the appearance of this epithelium because the cell nuclei appears at different heights it conveys the impression that there is more than one layer right pseudo is an imaginary not true but an imagine imagination basically right so it appears that there, there are more than one layer so that is why the term pseudostratified is used now the next two images are of transitional tissue, one being relaxed transitional tissue and the other being distended transitional tissue. In this particular slide, you can see the image of squamous non-keratinized tissue, cuboidal tissue, keratinized tissue and columnar tissue. And in the coming slide, we will be understanding the location of these tissues and their functions. Okay, coming to the simple squamous tissue, this is basically located at the sac of lungs, lining of the heart, blood vessels and lymphatic vessels and the function is that it allows the material to pass through by the process of diffusion and filtration and it secretes different uh, lubricating substances. Then the next is simple cuboidal epithelium. It is present in ducts and secretory uh, portions of glands. And it is also present in the kidney tubules. Its main function is secretion and absorption. Uh, then comes your simple columnar epithelium. So this is basically a ciliated epithelium which is present in the bronchi, fallopian tube, uterus and uh, smooth epithelium in the digestive tract and the urinary tract. And its main function is as absorption and it secretes mucus and different enzymes. Coming to the pseudostratified epithelium, pseudostratified epithelium is mainly present in the tracheas and a large portion of this particular tissue is found in the upper digestive tract and its main function is the secretion of mucus. Then comes your stratified squamous epithelium, it lines the esophagus, mouth and the vagina and it mainly helps in the or aids in the protection against damage. Right. Next is your stratified cuboidal epithelium. It basically is present in your sweat glands, salivary glands and mammary glands and the main function is the protection of these glands from external factors. Now coming to your stratified columnar epithelium. Stratified means multiple layers and columnar means multiple layers of column shaped cells. Right. So this is mainly present in your male urethra 
and some glandular drugs and it basically helps in the secretion and protection of these glands from external factors or external damage basically then comes your transitional epithelium this is mainly present in your urinary bladders urethra and ureters and it allows the urinary tract to stretch and relax because transitional as we started in the previous slide also that it contains there are two types basically one being your relaxed form and the other being the extended form so it basically helps in the uh, stretching and relaxation of your urinary tract so thank you so much dear students uh, today we started about the epithelial tissue the microscopic structures the classification of epithelial tissue the location of epithelial tissue in different parts of the body and their specific function right so if you have any queries any doubt in today's practical please feel free to reach out to me thank you so much for attending this practical thank you